Hello YouTube and welcome to frame three out of four between myself and Jordan. So I need to get this frame underway and another poor break off shot, it has to be said. So Jordan with a chance early doors. Oh, not quite, just rattled it. I can get past the yellow. I think. Yep, there we go. Now that wants to slow down a bit. Stop, stop, stop. No, see that's gone the wrong side of the blue. By a hair. So. <laughs> yes, I took the brown because I was trying to get into the pack. Uh, valiant effort, maybe. But yes, catching the jaw of the middle pocket meant that all I had left was that aggressive safety. And uh, fabulous long pot there from Jordan. A bit unfortunate that all he's been left with is the uh, thin black, which he's almost potted after cannoning the black off that red. That would have been an amazing shot. So again, just putting a little score up in the left hand corner there in case the picture goes blurry so you can still see what I'm scoring. Holding for the black again, yeah. Now playing into an area on that on the right side of the table or on my Oh no. I decided Oh no, I was dead straight there, wasn't I? That's why I played the screw shot rather than playing around the angles. For helping nudge from the pink, keeping the white near the middle of the table. And again, using using the bunch really there just to slow the white down. It's got to be. Am I rolling this in for the black? Or going back up for the blue? No, going back up for the blue. Which is the safer positional shot, because if I'd have overrun that one, I'd have had a bulk colour, whereas leaving myself awkward on the black, I wouldn't have been able to continue. And see there, I've, I've run that cue ball on probably about six inches or so further than I wanted. I wanted to be on one of those three reds into the left corner, but where I am, this is, unless I play that thin cut back to the bottom right, this is all I've got to leave me nicely, <clears throat> excuse me, on, a, on another colour. So now playing for that gap between those two reds to get on those three but overrun it see I think I've overrun that a little bit too much to make this shot into the left corner straight forward and now I can just play a little holding shot and run up towards the red to the, uh, to the right of the pink. And <clears throat> either leave the cue ball in the gap like I have, or could have uh, hit the red and left it. 
but see there, I'm really, really annoyed with myself because I had acres and acres of space. And I've left myself hampered by that red for the black. So, this pink up to the yellow pocket because that will leave me on the red nicely. No, I've just jawed it. So, I break down on 43 there, which although 43 is not a bad break for an amateur, I was really, really annoyed with myself. Because it should have been, <coughs> excuse me, it should have been, well, an easy half century, that one. Now, what's John gonna be able to come back with in reply? So awkward blue being low on it and this side of the table with the pink being up near the corner. And actually that's a very nice shot. Cube one might not be in a very good position for this next red, but it was very, very nicely cued on that last one. He wasn't far away. That one's gone slightly awry for Jordan. And the black's gone into an awkward position, so if I'm going to put anything. It's going to be blue or pink that I'll be looking at mostly. Yeah, I was thinking about, or I was trying to get onto the red closest to the right corner, but after having a look at where the cube was, it was uh, a much easier positional shot to play. That one's the middle up for the blue. And it's come in a sort of straight line down the table and leave myself on a choice, hopefully. Which I have done. <laughs> yeah, you hear me saying that. I've got to go back to practicing the blacks off the spot because I've missed so many of those recently after after returning that it's just it's not even funny I mean that was a straightforward ball that I've missed there so now trying to get in behind the pink and wasn't far away And this effort looks pretty good as well from Jordan. Where's that going to end up? Oh, he's not behind the pink, but he's definitely got a good cue ball. And those two reds together are going to be... Awkward, are they? Yeah, see, I've, I've taken the pot on because... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Because of where the white has ended up. That was a shot to nothing, was focusing more on the cue ball, but I can't believe... I can't believe I've potted the red off the pink. So, compose myself, and let's see if I can punch this pink in, get the cue ball past the blue. Or is it going to sit behind it? No, it's going to come out enough. And be careful of this one. Don't want to overhit this because the white's going to skip off the black and go further up the table like it has done. But judged it all right actually. So just the six remaining colours. Can I? Just 
dispatch these. Would be nice as I haven't done it in a while. That keyboard needs to stop. Yeah, good. Uh, hot on the brown there. Keyboard didn't come down as far as I was expecting it to. Still got a shot on this blue. And as you can see there with the cue ball, way too much right hand side to, uh, sorry, left hand side there to check the cue ball up. I was hoping to have the pink into the right corner. And that one has been overdone. But that's the end of the frame, so I felt I played all right in that one actually. Um, what do you guys think? Jordan was a bit unlucky with a few of his shots. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very, very soon with frame four. But for now, everybody, take care. <laughs>